Foreign exchange trading, also known as Forex for short, is basically uh, a futures contract trading on currencies. Yes, global currencies. We're talking the US dollars, of course, against the British pound or the Japanese yen against the Swiss francs, or you got the Australian dollar against the, um, um, you got the Euro, right? So these are eight or seven biggest global currencies. And there's over 200 currencies in the world, but these are the most heavily traded volume trading in the world. And we're talking, yes, the foreign exchange. When you go to the airport and you take your dollar and you exchange it to the euro, or if you're going to Italy or France, or if you're going to London and you exchange your dollar for the British pound. Yes, we're talking about that type of foreign exchange. Yes, and it is can be traded and you make a lot of money trading. Um, but is it bigger than stock market? Well, let's say this. It's bigger than the stock market, the US stock market, London, Tokyo, and Japanese um, stock market exchange put together. We're talking five near $6.1 trillion volume of currencies flowing every second, every single day. And that's because we have goods and services from countries to countries, whether it's automobiles or goods and services, exports and imports from country to countries, those big, large volumes of currencies are moving from central bank to central banks, and it's moving at trillions of dollars per day. And if you can dictate, dictate or predict or speculate where you believe one currency will be from a price perspective in the future, whether it's going to be higher or lower, you can make a lot of money. And that is where forex exchange or forex trading come into place. It's a lot simpler to understand, but it is very difficult, or, or I would say it's not easier to become very profitable. There's a lot of people that comes in and try to trade for an exchange market, thinking it's like the stock market, and believe it or not, it has a 90% failure rate. It does. It's very difficult. As you can see, this chart probably look like hydroglyph hydroglyphics to you, you know, or look like a different language or Chinese, because we're looking at candlesticks and wicks and charts and things like that. But what I can tell you about you, going back to what I can tell you about the foreign exchange market going back, is that the foreign exchange market or Forex, to me, again, is probably the best business, even though it has a 90% failure rate for those who don't try to venture and learn how to trade it on their own. To me, low entry costs in terms of how much you need to trade and trade with 500,000 or as much as you want. There's no high limit amount that you need to come in at a minimum 10,000 or 50,000. You can start small or you can go big or you can, you know, you can go as much as you want. The second thing is you get a large leverage. So there's foreign exchange brokers that you have to use that's connected to the liquidity provider in the market. It's decentralized. That's a great thing about this business to decentralized, meaning you can trade from anywhere around the world. You don't have to go with a U.S. specific regulated broker to be able to trade in the market just because it's U.S. stocks. You can be anywhere. That's why folks in third world countries in Nicaragua or um, you got South Africa or South America and folks who are trading Forex because it's a low entry market. You just get with a local um, legitimate licensed broker that's connected to a liquidity bro broker, a liquidity provider or central banks to be able to liquidate and be able to provide the volume and the leverage for you. You can trade for just coming in with just $50, to be honest with you. You probably won't make a lot of money, but you can come in and start so low entry. And then you have leverage. And then the other thing is the market is open basically 24-5, unlike the stock market, where it's 9.30 a.m. to 5 o'clock a.m. And then you go to what they call the off market, which is not a lot of volume, but it's still trading, but not as much as it was when the New York stock bell rang at 9.30 foreign exchange market it trades 24 7. why you got countries japan you got london australia new zealand swiss france europe they are all trading during those sessions during those times so the currencies are still moving 24 5. so you literally get to trade around the clock as money is flowing every single minute that's a great thing about foreign exchange market and then more importantly, what I love about the foreign exchange market, it's just between you and the charts. There's no customers, no call, no cold calling, 
no warm market to to scare away and and don't have any friends left nfl what they call it there's no cold call in and cold cold market that you have to go on and and try to convince or sell right and there's no upfront market that you have to go open up a brick and mortar um type of business to sell anything there's no inventory you have to do you just got to sit in front of the charts and watch the charts all day and you'll be making just as much as money as you can unlimited amount of money and you can make more money as a, a doctor and attorney combined yeah. i love this business so that's wow that's me and that's the business in a nutshell wow and you know it's uh i think it's everyone's dream is to be able to actually earn profits while you sleep and this really is an example of that can happen 